What's going on guys? I'm back. It's Colton with Wasatch Back Explorer. I know it's been a while since I put out a video. Um, a lot has been going on in life right now as far as school and work and whatnot. So um, that's been my absence, but I'm here for another video. Um, it's a beautiful day here in Utah and I thought I would just, you know, get some videos recorded and just share some things that I've had a few questions on recently. Um, and a couple of the comments and kind of people that know me, they ask about this. Um, but today's gonna be more of like a gear review. So today I want to go over my new rain jacket that I picked up, um, I would say, let's see, picked it up like eight months ago, last summer sometime, end of last summer. And it is the Mountain Hardware Exponent Two, so you can kind of see it right here. This is my new rain jacket. So before I go too much into that jacket, I wanted to go over um, most of the questions that I've had concerning rain jackets. So I'm going to post a link up in the video right here, or here, wherever it goes, um, on a video I put out about the Outdoor Research Helium Two. Um, and in that video, I kind of dissed on, hated on, disliked, criticized, any of those, um, on this jacket. Um, and let me just briefly go over why. Um, the first reason is, is when I bought this rain jacket, it just felt like really just thin and flimsy and I honestly was like, how is this gonna keep me dry? But I was like, hey, a lot of people on like through hikes use this, especially on the Appalachian Trail, which the East Coast gets a ton of rain, a lot more than out here on the West Coast. Um, people swear by this, they recommend this up and down the board. I read thousands and thousands of articles, maybe not thousands, thousands, thousands is quite a bit, hundreds. Let's go with hundreds. Hundreds of articles and videos on the Outdoor Research Helium 2 jacket and people just swear by this thing. So I thought, what the heck, I need a new jacket, I'll give it a try. Um, so I bought it and I used it a couple times, no problems. Then I went out on a my first backpacking trip last summer and um, I used this and I got soaked. I don't know what happened. I got soaked, yada, yada, yada. Um, I kind of go over all the details in that video, but I will also post the video of where I use this for the first time up here on the screen and what happened to that. And I just got soaked and finally I was like, you know what, I'm done. I don't want to get wet and I spent a lot of money and I was kind of pissed. So I reached out to Outdoor Research and asked, hey, like, did I do something wrong? Is it like a defect? Is there anything you can do? Like, what are your recommendations? nothing nothing came from them. and I thought you know what I'm done like I for me if a company's not willing to reach out to you yeah I know I'm just one person but even like something I don't know anything but I still to this day have not received anything and that's been since June of 2019 so I got a new jacket and so I went with mountain hardware and I have a couple mountain hardware pieces of gear previous to buying this jacket and I love it. Um, they're mostly like fleece jackets and kind of like warm layer stuff, but I love Mountain Hardware. I've really liked them for a while and I've always kind of wanted to have a lot of their gear just because of the reputation that they have. So, like I said, this is the Mountain Hardware Exponent 2. Now this is just like any typical jacket, um, you know, same style. It's a jacket. So let me go over some of the specs that are part of this jacket. So right now this jacket weighs 10.6 ounces. This is what Mountain Hardware recommends. This is all off their website. So this jacket is 10.6 ounces. The Outdoor Research Helium 2, just for comparison, is 6.2 ounces. So this is, you know, four ounces heavier, which is fine for me, I, that's not a big deal. Um, it is made from a 40D ripstop nylon. Um, 
And for those of you that don't know kind of like rain jackets or are looking at a few rain jackets, there's like three categories of rain jackets. There's a two layer system, there's a two and a half layer system, and there's a three layer system. So your two layer systems are gonna be your lighter weight jackets, your thinner jackets. Um, to be honest, I don't know what layer system the Outdoor Research is, but you can find most of these like specs online and you can look them up and they'll tell you. Um, but for the most part, the, the less layers, the thinner the material is. So, you know, kind of somewhat comparable to like the Outdoor Research Helium 2. Then if you go to the two and a half layer system, which is what the Outdoor Research Exponent 2 is, it's gonna be a little thicker, a little heavier, and repel water just a little bit better. Then if you go to three, those are like your extreme hard shells, like heavy, heavy rain, really heavy, really bulky, but they're gonna keep you dang dry, dang dry. So that's just kind of gives you an over, I, that gives you an overview of some of the layering systems that these companies come out with. So there's two, two and a half, and three. So, um, for me, one of the things that I hated about the outdoor research was the fit. It is really short on the waist. It is about to the belt line and just barely. Um, there isn't too much more length than that. It's a really short cut, a really trim cut. So if you want to like put some like a down jacket underneath or any sort of warm layer underneath, it's going to be a little hard just because it's tighter. And I got the medium because usually with most companies, I'm like a, between a medium and a large and I prefer kind of a more of a fit cut. So I go usually with the medium, but this medium was small. So I would say if you're going to get the outdoor research, you got to get large, but their cuts are pretty weird. They're like small and their features are just not that great. With the Exponent 2, the fit was just right. It's, you know, a normal jacket type of setup. Um, it does have pit zips on each arm. So that is something I've never had before and I actually really, really enjoy it. It keeps you cool if you're hiking or if it's kind of warmer outside. Um, one thing I didn't like about the re outdoor research jacket was it didn't have, you know, pockets. I'm a pocket guy, I don't know why. I just like having pockets for some reason, just versatility. So this on the left side, it has a pocket right here, kind of on the chest. So like you see this little square, that is kind of like the pocket. Then it also has just, you know, regular pockets on each side. Um, it does come with a cinch hood. So you can cinch it up right there. You can see the cinch right there. So it gets the hood really nice. It does have kind of like a metal, um, or I don't know what is inside to be honest with you, but it kind of has like a metal hood keep so you can kind of adjust the hood and shape the hood however you want. Um, it does have adjustable wrist clasps so you can tighten it up and get a little tighter fit if you want. And I've used this multiple times in heavy, heavy rainstorms and so far it has kept me extremely dry. Um, I do just wash it with just regular water. I don't wash it all that often because I don't want to ruin the coating. Um, every once in a while I do put like a additional waterproofing spray on this just to keep the waterproof up. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's a medium cut. I think I said that already and it fits just right. It's a great fit. Um, so you can find these online right now for like 60 bucks, which is extremely cheap for the quality that you get. Um, compared to around 100 for the outdoor research. Now I know weight, people talk about weight, yada, yada, yada. But for me, weight comes second to quality. Um, and just the quality, and I, and I felt like I was gonna always tear this or ruin this jacket. This jacket feels a lot more heavy duty. I've taken this on my ATV rides. Um, it's kept me really dry. It looks cool. I like the colors. Um, but yeah, it's just an amazing jacket. 
So I hope that answers some of your guys' question. I know it's been a while in, the, in coming about this jacket, but it's been an amazing jacket, and I love it. So I would recommend this totally for all of you explorers out there that are looking for a good jacket. Um, like I said, you can pick them up for around $60 right now because they're getting rid of some of the older jackets as far as like the older models and bringing in the 2020 versions. So that's a really good jacket to pick up right now if you're looking for something that's really nice. So I hope that answers some of your questions, guys, on why I got rid of the outdoor research jacket, what I replaced with it. Um, and overall, I'm just a bigger fan of Mountain Hardware as a company rather than outdoor research. Um, so that's kind of why I did that. But to each their own, everyone likes their own gear for their own reasons. And you know, I'm no different. I like my own gear, my own, I like, how do I want to say this? I like certain companies for certain reasons and other people like certain companies for certain reasons. So that is that. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys. There's gonna be a lot more gear reviews like this. Um, it is becoming spring slash summer, so it is getting awesome. I'm itching to get out right now. Um, I have a trip planned, hopefully uh, next week. Um, we'll see. Stay tuned if you wanna see where I go next week. Give you a little hint, it's gonna be back in the hot tent. Um, so stick around for that. Thanks guys for watching, we'll catch you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,